Once upon a time, in a magical land of sand dunes and oases, there lived a powerful ruling family known as the Al Nayan. The Nayan family originally hailed from the Banu Yas Confederation of Arabia and roamed the Rub Ali Kali Desert before finally settling in Abu Dhabi in the 1790s. These weren't your everyday Bedouin, no sir. They have a knack for making friends with other sheikdoms and wasted no time in becoming the ruler of the Emirate of Abu Dhabi, which is one of the seven shining jewels that make up the United Arab Emirates. In 1958, the Nayan family's tale took a wild turn when they struck liquid gold, aka oil, in Abu Dhabi. And suddenly, they were the talk of the town, overseeing economic activity among the Emirates. Despite some haters, the Nayans refused to let anyone reign on their parade and had their sights set on something big, self-rule for the United Arab Emirates. So they joined forces with the Maktoum family of Dubai and made it happen. So from Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan to Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed and now Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, they've been running the show as the country's president since its foundation and it's no secret that the family is loaded. After all, the UAE has 6% of the world's oil reserves and a reputation for royals with pockets deeper than the Mariana Trench. But what's even more impressive is how diverse their investments have been. They've put their money into everything from Rihanna's lingerie line to Elon Musk's SpaceX and even some fast food chains. And today, with a net worth of over $300 billion, the family is basically living in a never-ending dream, with private jets to fly them wherever they please, yachts to sail the high seas, hundreds of villas, palaces, and castles to call home, and even their own football club called Manchester City. In today's video, we'll explore just how opulent the Abu Dhabi's royals lifestyle is. So, hold on to your magic carpets as we dive into the ultra-luxurious billionaire lifestyle of the Abu Dhabi royals. Let's start off by talking about the current ruler of Abu Dhabi, the one and only Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan is not only the President of the United Arab Emirates and the Emir of Abu Dhabi, he's also a business mogul and a philanthropic superstar. He's been the driving force behind the UAE's rise to economic dominance, and he's respected by people all around the world. Now when it comes to figuring out how much money the Abu Dhabi royals have, it's like trying to catch a greased up pig at a county fair. It's tough. Their wealth is a mix of private and government assets, and it's hard to separate one from the other. But one thing is for sure, they're richer than other royal families in the Gulf, including the Saudis. That's pretty impressive, right? Speaking of impressive, let's talk about Sheikh Mohammed's 1981 wedding to Princess Salama. This wasn't your run-of-the-mill wedding, it was a week-long extravaganza fit for royalty. We're talking about one of the most expensive weddings on record, costing a whopping $100 million in today's money. And the Sheikh made sure that everyone in the Emirate was included in the festivities. He visited every town on his trusty horse and fed them all. Oh, and let's not forget about the 200 bejeweled camels that carried gifts for the blushing bride. That's right, camels. It was a wedding like no other, and it just goes to show the opulent lifestyle that the Abu Dhabi royals are accustomed to. And that's just a small glimpse into the luxurious lifestyle of this emirate ruler. He's also a proud owner of not one, but two private jets, a Boeing 747 and a Boeing 787. He also happens to be in charge of a huge chunk of money called a sovereign wealth fund. It's called the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority, ADIA, and it's worth a crazy $830 billion. They put this money into all sorts of things like stocks, bonds, and real estate, you name it. And this fund is one of the biggest of its kind anywhere in the world. If that's not enough to impress you, he also spends his free time exploring the high seas aboard his stunning yacht, Rabdan which is valued at a staggering $60 million and has an annual running cost of around $6 million. This beauty is like a floating palace, packed with all the fancy features and luxurious amenities you could ever dream of. This stunning vessel was crafted by the renowned silver yachts and designed by the one and only Espen Oino. But one yacht can never be enough for a family that is this rich. These guys have so many massive yachts, it's like they're collecting them for fun. We've got Azam, Moonlight, A+, Rabdan, and Yaz, all owned by different members of the family. It's like a friendly competition to see who can own the biggest and fanciest yacht. 
Who knows, maybe they'll even start hosting yacht races. All we can say is, if you're ever invited on board one of these bad boys, you better bring your sea legs and your fanciest outfit because it's going to be one luxurious ride. Real Estate Apart from owning several castles, mansions, and palaces in Abu Dhabi, like for example the UAE Presidential Palace, Emirates Palace, Qasr al-Watan, Al-Batin Palace, Al-Mushrif Palace, Qasr al-Hassan, and many others. And if you thought owning castles and palaces in Abu Dhabi was impressive, let us tell you. The Abu Dhabi ruling family takes their real estate game to a whole new level. We're talking about a 7.3 billion real estate empire in London. The late Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan was the king of real estate secrecy. Quietly acquiring some of the poshest properties in London for years, his collection made up of roughly 170 properties includes some seriously posh properties like the Queen's Birthplace, now a Chinese restaurant, in London's ultra-fancy Mayfair district and even the Ecuadorian Embassy in Knightsbridge. He was also the owner of the super swanky Berkeley Square House, home to Sexy Fish, a seafood restaurant featuring mermaid sculptures by Damien Hirst, the luxurious 1 Kensington Gardens apartment block and the Time Life building on New Bond Street. And get this, he even has a lavish 18th century mansion that he bought in 1989 near Windsor Great Park called Ascot Place. He bought himself the fancy mansion for a whopping 18 million pounds, which was a record-breaking sum at the time. If it was worth that much then, who knows what it's worth today. But that's not even half of it. He took luxury living to a whole new level when he had the water tanks in his mansion filled with Evian water imported all the way from France. That's some next level extravagance. Talk about high class, and with around 1,000 tenants on his books, he reportedly brought in a rental income of $213 million every year. And if we move on to the kind of cars they use, we just have one question for you. Have you heard about the Rainbow Chic? This Emirati royal family member is known for his extravagant taste, larger-than-life personality, and his love or obsession for cars. In fact, he built a pyramid-shaped structure just to display his collection to the public. Yes, you read that right, a pyramid for cars. Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan al Nahyan, aka the Rainbow Sheikh, is crazy about cars and has a collection of 400 to 500 fancy rides that'll make your jaw drop. And the best part, money is no object for this guy, so he keeps adding more to his fleet all the time. Now you might be thinking, what kind of cars does this guy collect? Well, he's got everything from luxurious BMWs and Mercedes celebrity cars to historical models from World War times. But that's not even the coolest part. Rainbow Chic also has some pretty funky rides in his collection. Have you ever heard of a globe-shaped caravan? It's like a miniature planet that you can actually sleep in with nine bedrooms and bathrooms. Sure, it's not exactly practical for the roads, but it's still pretty darn cool. He's also known for his love of all things extravagant, and so he built the world's largest Jeep, a whopping 64 times larger than the original Dodge Power Wagon. But this isn't just any old oversized vehicle, it actually has an apartment inside. You can find it at the Emirates National Auto Museum in Abu Dhabi, where it stands out among the other rare and unusual cars. He also owns several vintage mini Lamborghinis, which seem to be a replica of an 1885 Benz patent motor wagon, widely regarded as the first ever car, and the only SUV ever manufactured by Lamborghini. Now if you're wondering why he is called the Rainbow Sheik, don't worry, we got you covered. Sheikh Hamad bin Hamdan Al Nayyan is obsessed with Mercedes and owns seven of these luxury cars, all dating from 1983 and all painted in the seven colors of the rainbow, one for each day of the week. And that's not even the most impressive part. Inside the trunk of each car you'll find a gun rack that can hold not one, not two, but three M16 rifles, all color coordinated to match the cars themselves. Talk about attention to detail. So if you're ever in Abu Dhabi and happen to spot a rainbow colored Mercedes driving by, you know who's behind the wheel. But he's not the only car loving member of the Abu Dhabi ruling family. Meet Sheikh Sultan, owner of the SBH Royal Auto Gallery, a collection of modern supercars that'll make your head spin. Located in a private compound in Abu Dhabi, this gallery is home to some of the rarest and most coveted supercars in the world. Think Aston Martin 177, Bugatti EB110, Ferrari SA Aperta, Mercedes-Benz SLR Sterling Moss, 
Lamborghini Reventon, and Maserati MC12. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. But what really sets Sheikh Sultan's collection apart is his love for the Bugatti Veyron. He's got not one, not two, but five different models of this supercar in his garage. That's right, five. All in all, there are 32 cars in this collection, and it all started with a BMW Alpina Z8 back in 2004. We can only imagine how much time and money Sheikh Sultan has poured into his collection. But one thing's for sure, he's definitely not messing around when it comes to his love for supercars. Manchester City Football Club Are you a football fan? If so, you've probably heard of Manchester City Football Club. This English club, based in the city of Manchester, has been a major player in the sport since its inception in 1880. And guess who owns the club today? Meet Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nayyan, a member of Abu Dhabi's royal family, a man with a vision and a lot of money. He's the majority shareholder of CFG, the company that owns Premier League club Manchester City. When the group purchased Manchester City in 2008, the club was in dire straits. But under Sheikh Mansour's leadership, Manchester City has become a major force in the football world, winning numerous trophies and establishing itself as one of the top clubs in the Premier League. Well, that finishes up our video for today. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to give us a thumbs up and comment your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Finally, if you're not yet subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button as it helps us out immensely. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.